Whatever happens, we must protect Dolly Parton at all costs. After learning well be getting a Christmas album titled A Holly Dolly Christmas on October 2nd as well as a Netflix Christmas movie called Christmas on the Square. Starring Dolly, Billboard recently published an amazing interview with the country star highlighting everything she's been up to, including her productivity during the pandemic. It also has everyone talking about how progressive the 74-year-old is. Billboard points out that in 2018, Dolly changed the name of her dinner attraction Dixie Stampede to Dolly Parton's Stampede because she learned about the racist context behind the word Dixie. Dolly explained, There's such a thing as innocent ignorance, and so many of us are guilty of that. When they said Dixie was an offensive word, I thought, well, I don't want to offend anybody. This is a business. Well just call it the stampede. As soon as you realize that, something, is a problem, you should fix it. Don't be a dumbass. That's where my heart is. I would never dream of hurting anybody on purpose. She also made her support of Black Lives Matter extremely clear. I understand people having to make themselves known and felt and seen. And of course Black Lives Matter. Do we think our little white asses are the only ones that matter? No, she said. However, whenever Dolly is in the spotlight, people do start worrying for her health. After all, Dolly is 74 and has allegedly had some health issues in the past. Back in 2013, the National Enquirer reported that Dolly allegedly had gotten a preventative surgery for esophagus cancer. After reportedly losing 20 pounds, a source said that Dolly knew something had to be done or she could die. Her weight was dropping dramatically, she was chugging antacid medication, and she couldn't eat anything but soft, bland foods. However, this was never confirmed. As far as we know, Dolly is completely healthy, but this wasn't the only time people thought the singer was ill. In 2015, Dolly had to address even more concerns and rumors about her health. This time, people were worried that the country queen had stomach cancer. Once again, the National Enquirer reported that Dolly was sick and had to be rushed to the hospital. She told Billboard, It's true that I had kidney stones. I had them removed three weeks ago and I am doing just fine. She added, There is absolutely no truth at all that I have stomach cancer. I love and appreciate everyone's concern. Luckily, Dolly seems to be as healthy and energetic as ever. In the recent Billboard interview, it shared that Dolly has the work regimen of a tech CEO, and that she and her team start work as early as 4 a.m., making sure all the moving parts are in their proper place so that she can continue to run the Dollywood company. Dolly Parton ISNT going anywhere anytime soon. Thank heavens. Country music star Dolly Parton, 74, has managed to keep details of her marriage to husband Carl Dean, 78, relatively under wraps. According to her, Dean isn't much a fan of the spotlight, and we've rarely even seen photos of the pair out together as a couple, despite their decades-long relationship. However, Parton recently let us in on a super cute, and relatable, insight on her partnership with Dean. On an episode of the Table Manners podcast with host Jesse Ware, Parton confessed, My husband and I have been together for 57 years and married for 54. I'm sick of him and I'm sure he's sick of me. Over half a century of marriage, that is impressive. Pleasantries aside, we have no reason to believe that the pair isn't still madly in love. In 2016, Parton and Dean celebrated their 50th wedding anniversary by renewing their vows. I got all dressed up in the most beautiful gown you've ever seen and dressed that husband of mine up, Parton told Rolling Stone about the romantic affair. He looked like a handsome dude out of Hollywood. The event inspired her to write her 2016 album, pure and simple. The songs, Forever Love, Say Forever You'll Be Mine, and Tomorrow Is Forever, 
are songs she specifically dedicated to her husband. I wrote, Say Forever You'll Be Mine, and Tomorrow Is Forever, back in the early, early days of our marriage, she said. Forever Love, is a more recent composition. That's the one I considered our wedding song because we got remarried on May 30th, on our 50th anniversary. Despite their deep and lasting bond, we don't see much of Carl Dean in the media, and there are several rumors as to why. Some have even suggested that Dean doesn't even really exist, though these photos prove otherwise. Speaking to Entertainment Tonight back in October, Parton explained why she keeps her relationship with her husband and her life in Hollywood separate. Carl's a quiet, reserved person, and he figured if he ever got out there in that, he'd never get a minute's peace and he's right about that, she said. I've always respected and appreciated that in him and I've always tried to keep him out of the limelight as much as I can. He said, I didn't choose this world. I chose you and you chose that world. But we can keep our lives separate and together. And we do and we have. Clearly, Dolly Parton and Carl Dean have a strong, lasting love that even the pressures of Hollywood can't dismantle. We think having a sense of humor must help, especially after 54 years. Cheers to Dolly and Carl.